minus 10 seconds and counting. Hey, barbecue family. Hey, barbecue family. How's everybody doing? Uh, someone was a little slow on the hitting Instagram. I noticed that Maddie fell asleep for a second. Happy Friday, everybody. How's everybody doing? It's Friday. We're going to have a lot of fun. I missed you guys. How are we at Friday already? Is I don't know, but I am sure grateful that it is Friday. Oh, yeah, me too. We're live at Barbecue Park, as you guys can see in the background. Can you tell that the leaves are changing? Look at this vine over here. It looks so gorgeous. Oh, my like, goodness. The colors. Come on. It's not as cold as it was last week, so I am grateful for that. Yes. Super grateful. This feels like summer, even though maybe to you guys, you're looking at us and being like, they got a million layers on. Yes. But it is actually, believe it or not, a little bit warmer here today. Definitely. So, guys, <laughs> last week we had some audio issues. If you're anywhere, let us know how the audio is. Is it too loud? Are we too quiet? Someone please let us know. And I don't want to hear... Maddie and Kiki, you guys are never too quiet, okay? Because that's what ever guaranteed people are thinking that right now. I'm kind of thinking it. How right many now. times are we do we have to hear from people? I can hear you guys all the way from the elevator. <laughs> okay, look, first of all, thank congratulations, S. Will. S. Will got first Congrats, S. Will. S. Will. Hot Tommy saying we sound fab. Thanks, Hot Tommy. Thanks. I'm gonna also take that as we look fab. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's just let's just make that our own. Thanks, Hot Tommy. Thank you for letting us know. Barbecue mom is in the house. So I can, I'm so happy to see that she's over there. Hey, Barbecue Mama. We've got <coughs> Leeds Faithful on Insta saying audio is good. And we got Tomahawk laughing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess at the volume thing, okay? <laughs> so nice to see you guys. Hi, Kirsten. Uh, we noticed Kirsten was telling everybody to hit that thumbs up button before we got on. Kirsten, you're a sweetheart. Thank you so much for doing Kirsten, that. Kirsten, we thoroughly appreciate that because we said it last week. We always forget to say that. So totally. thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate that. We're going to have a lot of fun today, guys. We are grilling up the one and only giant tomahawk steak. Show it up. Kiki said this thing looks like a baseball bat, and it does. Is this the right stance for, like, baseball? I don't even know. Does it? No, it's probably <laughs> leaking meat juices everywhere. <laughs> it's from our friends over at Helena's Meats. They're, it's super thick. I can't wait to unwrap it and see what it looks like. We got Kathy over on Insta saying, hey, my semi-charred life. We got Tri-Tip Junkie saying, nice gloves. These <laughs> gloves are keeping us really warm, and they also keep us so we don't have to use our bare hands. Yeah, I feel like I have nails on these because the gloves are, like, sticking out the top they look nice but look it is really very nice. comfortable hi for we got fritz frank we got will plunk i saw cj earlier hi cj Come in. how's it going cj guys What's going on? check out this new version of i'm gonna call it the sky cam there's no other way to describe that hello to the sky cam it's also kind of like the hair cam too it's getting right on top of our heads hopefully. it's the root cam you guys can yeah. see if we have if we need our roots touched up or if we have any grays coming yeah in. i was just gonna Let say us know. you're gonna be able to see my grays from that angle not so good okay hi <laughs> bat 13 how are you okay and we so have dave dawson saying tomahawks yeah yeah oh, guys yeah. we're making a tomahawk but before we even do that we also have a very delicious cheers to the weekend okay and i'm gonna get that started because we're making it on the grill. Yeah, we so see Maddie's gonna get the okay, but before you do that, are you are you forgetting this every single oh, week? Oh my goodness, I mean, barbecue pops isn't gonna let that happen. <laughs> it's what? Why am I forgetting it lately, guys? It's either I forget the segment entirely or Kiki forgets the words and there's like there's like five words max in that song. It's okay, basically just Friday, Friday, yes, it's Friday. <laughs> but it is Friday, so I can't remember it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the graphics let's up again. Let's do this, everybody. Here we we go. can't forget this. All right, here we go. Friday, 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 yes, it's Friday, it's Friday, okay, I don't know, <laughs> oh my goodness, next time we're gonna have to ask Barbecue Pops, you know how some like rock stars need like the lyrics of their own songs up, we're gonna have to get him to somehow hook yeah. that up for us, I'm gonna need someone to tell me what the lyrics of are to the Friday song, because I can't seem to manage it, oh my it every goodness, what is wrong with us, I don't wow. know, Maddie's excited about this cocktail. That's why she yes, like I want to get song. right to it because okay. guys, we are making a martini that an espresso martini. Okay, so some people might be thinking, girls, I don't see like an elaborate espresso maker um, up in your in your set here today because we are using 
one of these, okay? This is all you need when it comes to espresso. This is Maddie breaking out her old Italian lady thing. Yep, yep, that's <laughs> right, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. You're the ultimate old Italian lady with this thing. So all we have in here is just a little bit of water. This is the perfect way to make um, espresso. You fill the water up to this little, um, this little screw here and then you just start adding your coffee it goes on to the stove and there's just something anybody has had this kind of coffee before where i think i saw maddie in the house matt matt you want one of these you gotta be you gotta tell us you want one of these maddie makes coffee in that thing every morning i don't know who is fickling around with that one and you're tired look at steve he's like don't mock the espresso maker okay but hi steve steve first of all we're happy to have you back it's been a minute since steve's been with us yeah totally i don't i just i, I think it's cool i appreciate the effort to be perfectly of this? honest yes of this or because i think steve's saying He's saying, he, I, from what I gather, he's saying he has one of those fancy espresso makers. Oh. And he's saying for us to not m make fun of that. Oh. Okay, because those are cool, too. First of all, I don't know, like... Oh, my goodness gracious. Just smell that. Oh, that does Just smell so Just smell good. that. Okay, Will Plunk is already... It's 12.06. We're six minutes in, and he's already hitting us with a super sticker. Thank, Thank you, you so Plunk. much, Will Plunk. This is for you, Will Plunk. Woo! Will Plunk! Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that I, was a really good one. I gave it a little bit more because I know our audio is good today. I'm okay. not going to blast people away. That maybe still did, though. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing it still did. <laughs> yeah, so that thing is cool. I like it, but I just, for me personally, when I wake up in the morning, I can barely get downstairs and press the go button. You are, you're, are, are you guys oh. like Kiki? Kiki needs, like, coffee the second she wakes up. Otherwise, I'm an absolute troll in the morning. Like, some people wake up and they're just like, like bright eyed bushy tail they come down the stairs not uh, me is she a troll just in the morning <laughs> i'm gonna nerfle you <laughs> get away from my nerfles <laughs> okay guys this is going on to the grill this whole thing can go on to the grill all right i think that's super cool i think it is you too. can make this on a charcoal grill gas grill any kind of grill today we're using it on the napoleon very and cool. we're gonna i think that's the first time we've done it on there i think so let's too. see how this turns out everybody Okay, I saw someone just say hi from Maui, I thought they said. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. I missed who that was, but thank you so much for joining us on this Friday. We're going to have a ton of fun. I also saw someone named, I think, Bob from Ajax. Bob. Bob from Ajax. Bob from Ajax. He can probably hear us <laughs> from Ajax without the audio. Yeah. That's just basically down the street. <laughs> hi. Oh, my God. Salt, time, pepper, and fire. We've got SNS Girls, which I'm guessing is Javen. Javen, is that is you? That How's it going, Javen? Hi, Javen. And we got Brian, the bearded Italian. You guys came to a great part because we're about to get going into this thing right here, okay? I don't know about you guys, but there is something exciting about ripping and tearing the butcher paper off of me that's come from the butcher. It's like mm -hmm. a Christmas present. It's like, it's the like ultimate a Christmas present. present. Yeah. It is. So far, I've done nothing. Uh, yeah, we'll continue. What's new here? So I'm going to make our board. So we're doing not just a regular tomahawk steak. We're going to be doing a board sauce, which like for some reason, boards right now are having like a giant moment. Can someone explain to me this board thing? Are you talking Ew. about like these butter boards? Yeah, that's exactly. That ain't what this is. No. Okay, that's not what we're doing here. Yeah, no, I cannot stand this. I don't understand. A lot of things are going around with this butter board thing. People adding lots and lots of butter to boards and then smearing it on and like. Or like getting, not getting chunks of cake and then smearing that into the butter. Like, Ew. I don't, I'm sorry that I don't feel like that works for me. No, me neither. And like, I I've seen people make guacamole boards. Um, like but why not boards. just put the guac in a bowl? That's exactly what you read Can my someone mind. explain to me why it needs to be splayed out on a board? No. So this is not the same thing. This is a board sauce that is going to basically cradle the meat when it comes off the grill. So the reason for a board sauce is because when you take meat off the grill and it's going to be resting, you can rest on a regular cutting board and then gather up all those juices and whatever. That looks fantastic. The sky cam's like, oh yeah. <laughs> that looks so good. But a board sauce has it so when you rest the meat on top of it, it heats up the garlic and the onions, it melts the butter, and the juices go right into the sauce itself. Yes. It's meat juices, it's butter, it's flavor. If you haven't tried it yet and you're making a steak this weekend, you got to try it this weekend. Jay, so it, that's, it's trendy, that's why. Thank you. Yes. That is the reason why everybody is doing it, and I find that incredibly annoying. Jay, you're so... I, I'm sorry. Normally, I can get on board with the, with the food trends because normally I'm like... 
All right, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. This one, I think, is just they're just doing it because people are running out of ideas. <laughs> is that not true? <laughs> I Thank you, CJ. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just trash my butterboard video. Uh, you know what? I think like everybody, anytime I open up social media, like, it's like, here's my version of the butterboard. <laughs> Like, like, that's what I just cream cheese, everything cream cheese board. Yeah, cream cheese board. That's it's another like, one. Oh my that's goodness. right. Is there like a roll your eyes emoji? Because I would like that. There right is. Now. Right there now. There is a roll your eyes emoji. I don't, and I'm using a knife, so watch out, everybody. Which did you guys hear that um, there's like emojis now that are like uncool? Have you heard of that? Oh my god. But Gen cool. Z, is it Gen Z? Like the young, the young ones of today? Is that the? Uh, that's not. We're millennials, mm -hmm. unfortunately. We're like but, geriatric middle millennials. Yeah, like we're though. like elder millennials. <laughs> but the the Gen Z, I think, is like the young ones. Mm -hmm. They're saying that um, there are certain certain emojis that are not cool to use. They think everything is uncool yeah. to use. Yeah. So apparently, the <laughs> the most uncool <laughs> one is the thumbs up. So if you give what? the thumbs up, I love the thumbs up. If you give the thumbs up, apparently that's not cool. <laughs> See, Matt Cox is on inside. He's like, I'm Jen old. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. See, See Matt. <laughs> Fritz Frank said he's heard about that. Guys, I am. I have not heard this. Yeah, and apparently, like, you know, like the bawling, the bawling emoji. Like, there's a lot of crying ones, but the bawling one apparently is not cool to use. What? It's like too over the top like apparently if you try too hard when you're in when you're like any age now that's like not cool i don't agree with that okay glenn was it <laughs> uh, glenn i didn't catch glenn's last name but glenn's just sent us a five dollar super sticker glenn thank you so much thank you so much glenn that's very sweet of Woo, glenn <laughs> janimal hi janimal how are you glenn thank you so much glenn are you into this so far are you who here is into this tomahawk look at how delicious this looks okay now i haven't i'm cutting up a red onion you could use a shallot for this red onion you want to go with like a milder onion for this now honey do you want me to like finally mince it do you want me to finally slice it oh like, what do you oh is kiki kiki's asking moi for my permission oh, okay <laughs> she's doing her classic double wink that's me winking at you so what do i do like what do you want what do you want me to do you want me to, i i'm gonna prefer a mince but i uh, okay i was gonna say a mince right, because me, you don't you a want mince. a huge chunk of onion in a butter sauce. Okay, I will give you a mince. Baby wants a mince. Baby gets a mince. CC Tour is saying, guess it depends what bowling is about. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know why like that one seems to be not cool. I Maybe know. you know what? What about the high five? Is the high five one still cool? Because I feel like a lot of people think high fives are not cool. People, people, they didn't say that, but apparently the clapping hands is uncool. That's actually my favorite okay, one. These are like my top ones. <laughs> If they came after the fire one, I'd have to really say something. Yeah. Because the clapping hands and the fire, I put for anything. <laughs> but then again, me and you don't really go on on as far as like what is too over the top. I don't care. If yeah, that's, saying, like, that's the, what I'm saying. If it's over the top or if like you're trying too hard, they think that that's uncool. I don't, I don't, I can't stand a lot of what's trendy. And what I don't understand about social media is I don't know if people are even doing things that they think is cool. They're just doing things because they think other people think they're yes, cool. Yes, it's, it's so like, true. I don't want to eat a lot of butter on a board. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw okay, it we're right back there. to the butter board. We're back to the butter board. <laughs> Key, Key's really not feeling the butter board. <laughs> no, I'm not one percent. And in fact, like I don't know why you'd want to intentionally clean a wooden board that has had grease smeared all over it like that. I know, like ew, I'm talking no. from a practicality standpoint too. Yeah, agreed. I, I'm not into it. We have Burley tuning in. He's sharing his favorite emojis, which okay. is the laughing. The eggplant, <laughs> and is that the donut? Because <laughs> I love the donut one. That sounds like a dirty combination that you've got going on there. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna pretend that that wasn't a dirty combination, but <laughs> look at that. Hot Tommy. Hot Tommy coming in with a $10 super chat, and he's specific. No, we don't do that to Hot Tommy. He's saying specifically, it's about time Kiki works. That's rude, Hot Tommy. Yeah, and you know, you know what, Hot I Tommy? I still love you, though. We're grateful for that. Thank you so much. Woo! Thank hot Tommy! Thank you very much, Hot but Tommy. But I'm not really doing so much either so yeah. far. <laughs> and you got to get that. If we're going to reverse here, yeah, we're going to get time, this lady. on. We're going to get this on. And guys, we need to focus on this delectable rub that we have here. Last week, we hit you guys with one of these rubs from our friend. That's the one barbecue, our friend Lee. We're coming at you with another one. This one, get this one. Okay, this one blew our minds when we first heard about it. Jalapeno 
garlic butter rub. I don't know. Come on. That is one of the coolest rubs I've seen so far. Yes. I, if I'm being honest. Me too. It, it smells incredible. Somehow they're, they nailed a, a very a very buttery scent. Yeah. It it's, smells like, to me, it has a um, like movie theater popcorn spicy smell. Ooh, and it's, like, it's coming out like that too. Yeah, I'm really enjoying that so far. And I think that's going to be perfect for this butter um, reverse. Now I'm going to call this a butter bowl. Ooh, look at that. That looks buttery. Jan's like, it sounds delicious. I don't feel like anyone could not like this one. No, I don't think okay, so either. Okay, this thing is heavy. It's big. It's thick. That's going to be a good reverse here. S will, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> don't even look at me, S will. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to um, oh, now... Oh, is there a llama emoji? Evil Llama's hitting us with... I didn't even know there was a llama emoji. You know what, Judge Webb? We said the exact same thing. He said that would be really good on popcorn. Yes! Oh, my goodness. And it does... It really does smell like it... Like, first things first, I'm surprised that we're even putting it on this because I'm smelling... I'm smelling popcorn right off the top for this. <laughs> yeah, you two stop scheming. Cooking with CJ and Jabin are talking about doing a beef tallow board. And ew, guys! Ew, ew, vomit! I know, that's gross! But then the next thing you know, you're going to see some, like, 20-year-old on on Instagram being like, I came up with the beef tallow board. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not true? Oh, that be the next. Voice. <laughs> that'll be the next big thing. Okay, so, guys, we are going to get this on to... Okay, wow. Sorry. Wow. That's it. We're going to get this onto the grill because he's right. We got to get this on because we're doing a reverse sear. Yeah. Now, we have many barbecue family members in the house today. And they know what a reverse sear is. But for anybody who doesn't know what a reverse sear is, this process is going to change how you make steak. Mm -hmm. Anytime that anyone tries to make steak, it can be... Actually, you know what? When it comes to grilling, steak is actually one of the most difficult things to nail. And one of the most things that everybody thinks they know how to make. Yes, because it's just like, well, I like steak. Steak is popular. I'm going to make a steak. But steak can go very wrong. It can be overcooked quite quickly if you don't keep an eye on it. But the reverse sear process basically takes the guesswork out of it because you're slowly making the meat come up to temperature your your preferred done temperature so we're going to be cooking this to medium rare because that's how we like our steak and that's how it, it's a very slow process you just need a meat thermometer and you're and that's it basically yeah and it's weird because it's one of those things that sounds super fancy but it's really not and it's so much easier if you were having people over for like a dinner party or something like that you could have those going in the background instead of having to time yes. everyone's steak directly over uh, or if you were using um direct heat there maddie and i taught an entire class on um the reverse here and a lot of people once they try it out they agree they will never go back to the hot and fast way again because it's so easy and you can take credit for having perfectly cooked steaks when the process is actually so much easier okay so you guys will see that the steak is on and you probably because kiki was yap yap yapping you might not have heard it but it was silent when it went on to the grill some people might be like where's the sear sound that's exactly not what you want. You don't want the sear sound when you're making a reverse sear. You want it to be quiet because that side of the grill isn't on. The grill, the other side of the grill's on, and that's what's going to make the meat slowly come up to temperature, and then you sear, and then that's when it gets, that's when you hear that sound. Yes, definitely. Okay, Evil Llama has just said he likes it hot and fast. Really hope he's talking about <laughs> grilling here. But, but I have Evil Llama, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Oh, Dwayne's in the house. Hi, Dwayne. Du I saw that Dwayne was here. Dwayne said that looks like a Flintstones piece of meat. It d that's what everybody says. When you make a tomahawk steak, that's what people say. Smell that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're in Canada, and we've got some a few deep frosts. And these, the rosemary's from my garden, and it's still kicking. It's yep. still going strong. Rosemary is one of those hearty ones and sage. They can last for a very long time. All right. Do you want more here? I, I'll do all this. We want. I, I want would to, do. I wouldn't do too much, but yeah. Well, this is your luck. You're not the one doing it. Okay. I shouldn't have asked you. <laughs> okay. Cute. Cokey with CJ is saying I too like it hot and fast, <laughs> guys. With these guys, you know, you're ta they're taking it in their own direction. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna chop. I'm chopping up some rosemary for our board sauce, and while Maddie was talking, I peeled one garlic clove. Oh, are you saying I was yap yap yapping? Yeah, because I'm getting you back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I peeled one garlic clove and cut it in half. 
You're probably like, why are you not mincing that? Okay, I will tell you guys in one second when we actually start to build the sauce. But S but will, before, thank you. Yes, but before that, S Will's being a super sweetheart, as he always is, and saying, hey, S Kiki, love that ombre hairstyle. That's S sweet, Will, S -Will. leave it to S Will to know <laughs> the names, like the, the, the salon names for I hair. Know. Thank you, S Will. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> so, guys, while I'm, gonna, while I'm chopping this up, I'd like to hear how your week's been going. What's Me too. new with you guys? What's... Yeah, guys, what is new? What is the highlight of your week? What is something that happened this week that you were like, you know, that was something really good? Or did something really bad happen this week? Yeah. And honey, I basically spent all my time with you this week. But and you every also, week. And every week. But you can tell me what... Um, what happened in your week? I, I'm still interested to know. <laughs> okay, well, what happened in my week and what happened in Key's week is we did a barbecue competition last week, and it was so awesome. I don't know if Russell's in the house. I don't think I saw Russell in the house, but we got to meet Russell, and it was super cool. It was so much fun. Not only did we get to meet Russell, we got to meet his wife. We got to meet all his kids. A lot of his kids have been on... Well, actually, I think only Casey has been on Yeah, we met Casey, we met Autumn, and we met Bree, and they were super sweet. And I don't know about you guys, but getting out there and actually meeting people that we've all hung out with online is like, we say this all the time. It was like next next level experience. Yeah, it was so much fun because I couldn't um, judge the competition. Only Maddie was judging. I spent a lot of time with the kids, and I had a blast. Yes, they were so cute. Trumpet Master saying, I was featured on my first podcast last night. Wow. Cool, Trumpet Master. I'm going to give him a round of applause for that. That's incredible, Trumpet Master. That's so cool. What was the topic, and where can we listen? Is what I'd like to know. Yes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna guess maybe it was barbecue, uh, maybe a barbecue podcast. Podcasts are so having a moment right now. Yes, Kathy saying decking the Halloween halls at the house party next weekend. Kathy, if I remember correctly, Kathy hosted a Halloween party last year. Is that right? I I remember I think that. So. Yeah, that's so awesome, Kathy. Getting ready for Halloween. Um, CJ saying I signed a contract to create content for Ninja. Great job, CJ. CJ! And it's about time. It's about time. CJ is like killing it for, for Ninja. He's, I feel like he's like the unofficial Ninja ambassador. Oh, 100%. But now he he's official. That's all so awesome, CJ. Congrats. Okay, so we've got our rosemary chopped up. Now I'm chopping up one tiny, tiny hot pepper. You can add more if you want, but we're going to be adding some pepper oil later on. So I don't want this too, too spicy. I don't want to blow everybody away with this one. Kathy's saying that she, yes, yeah, she does do it. She does do her Halloween contest or um, party annually. And I can't wait for what we do annually for Halloween. Yes. Which I is, Key just comes over to my house because you guys know Key lives in the country. And she, basically, in the country, Halloween doesn't exist. No, not at all. Not where we live. It's like no kids go around our area. There's too much space between the houses for the kids to walk through, I guess. So I always go to Maddie's house and hand out candy at her house. And it's fun because you get a ton of kids. Yes, we get like, I'm gonna say probably like over 300 kids. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it's we're gonna, and this year it will be even more because guys, I live in the suburbs. It's a new neighborhood. That's like kid central for some reason. Yeah, and I saw Steve was saying he's on the men. Steve unfortunately had COVID. Steve, I'm so glad that you're on the mend. Me too, Steve. I'm so happy to hear uh, that. S. Will just said that his ex-wife is getting remarried tomorrow, and he's so happy for her. Aww. S. Will, that is the cutest thing ever. Oh, my God. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. When you can wish an ex-partner all the best and truly mean that, like, you want them to be happy... I'm S. Well, I'm gonna guess it took a while to get to that part because I'm sure. But any time that you go through a breakup, it takes a while to be able to like actually not want to murder that person. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just keep it here. <laughs> so good for you, S. Will. That is a phenomenal attitude. Yeah, that is really sweet. Okay, so now I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna add in the zest of a lemon. And you guys, and did Hot Tommy say he's getting a Lone Star Grill? That's so cool. That's something to be grateful for. Oh, that is really cool. Congrats, Hot Tommy. Okay, so I think I'm ready to build the sauce. That looks fantastic. Okay, so I will show Instagram. I got all our ingredients chopped, prepped, ready to go. Hi, Evil Mommy. I had to say hi to my barbecue family on here on Insta. Okay, so we've got everything chopped, ready to go. Okay, oh my goodness. The lemon, 
the lemon. Don't skip the lemon. You could also use a lime if you felt so inclined. I'm just gonna give a little check on our um on our. We're not we're not anywhere close there, but I I just want to check the grill for a second with our thermometer, okay. and um we're at 350. That's actually a little bit hot for a reverse sear, but when it's cold out, it's not actually like that hot. No, so. and we're also trying to speed it up so we can show you guys the finished thing in this one hour, which I hope I'm still really hoping we can do. But you never know with a reverse sear. You just kind of gotta wait. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we gotta get that down because we're gonna be waiting for a while. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so now on our board, we have a board here that Maddie and I got a long time ago that we keep using because it's awesome. It's it's a board that has, I, I don't know if you you can actually see, but it has a. I'll slight... hold it up. I will hold it up to show everybody. So guys, this is actually from taking it back to 2018. Yep. Okay, look, we'll show everybody on there. We got this at Smoke Show. Was this the first ever Smoke Show? No, I don't think. Oh, I think it? it was. I think it was uh, It was the first ever Dixon's Smoke Show 2018. This was the first event that we did, or the second event that we did after we quit our day jobs. Yep. Oh, yeah, and it was like the day after. Yeah. No, it that one, like... that one was like a week in. <laughs> And we were like, oh, what did we do? We're what like making did we food do? for like 500 people. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, but the reason we're using this board is because it has a slight bowl to the center. It goes, yes. it caves in. It's not like a regular flat cutting board. It's a, it's known as a concave cutting board, and this is exactly why you use it. Yes, because all the sauces and the juices are going to stay in the center. That's why. So, in order to build a board sauce. We're going to start adding things to the board. So we've got, honey, can you just hang on to that for a second? I'm on it. I'm your hands right now, honey. I'm just, uh, my job's done. My okay. job is done. Lucky you. But see, that's the benefit of the reverse here. We're making a steak over there, but I'm, it's, and it's doing its thing over there, but I don't have to do anything. And nobody can tell that you you're just, just making something awesome. just stand here for awesome. Pete, taking all these delicious aromas. Taking a whiff of all my, my goodies right here. Okay, so now I'm going to, so I'm going to add down see, some. Kathy actually, needs a board like that, she said. It's, you know what? We use this all the time, Kathy. So I'm kind of jumping the gun. So before I add the, the butter, I went yes, to the right Bob. to the butter. Bob's right, though. He's saying, are you putting butter on the board? Yes, I'll yes. show you, Bob. So the, first, the very first thing we're going to do <laughs> is take the garlic that we cut in half, and we're going to just take it and put lay the cut side down on the board and smear it all around. So even though I said I don't like smearing things on boards because it's kind of gross. This is the board to do it, though. This yeah. is where, and see, S. Will saying where all the juices belong. That yes. is true. So Maddie always likes to say when we were teaching our classes on the reverse Instantly sear. you can smell that. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So Maddie was, Maddie was constantly saying, this is not a cutting board that you want to be making cookies on. <laughs> Absolutely not. Unless you want, unless you're making garlic cookies, which... You know what? We're talking about food trends. Maybe that could be the new food trend. Ew. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't, I'm not going to say ew. That could be good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to smear that on. You're going to get the oils of the garlic right on top of the board. Oh, yeah. That's that squeaky sound. Yep. Kiki's getting in there real good. We got a lot on there. Now we're going to add the butter. So we're not, we're not going to smear the butter on the board. We're just going to put it in a pile like right here. This is a lot of butter, but you can go as heavy or as not so heavy as you want. Evil Llama, are you saying, as always, I'm not doing anything? Because, um, yes, between the two of us, I'm always doing most of it. Is Let's be honest. No. Yes. No. Yeah, guys, which sister does more? Okay, that, which that, sister does more? Let's stop, go there. Let's go there. Stop putting out that poll. <laughs> oh, Hot Tommy said Kiki's rocking it today. Thanks, Hot Tommy. He had, to, he had to make up for how much times he was hitting you last week. Yeah, I think Kiki so. Kiki was just standing there looking cute. What could she say? She's good at that. <laughs> Okay, so then we're going to... You don't gonna, want me to hold this anymore? No, I got it. Okay. Okay, so then on top, we're going to add our our uh, minced onion right on top. So right now, this is just looking like butter on a board. It looks like kind of weird. You're like, what are I we making here? I think it looks here? cool. Uh, Fritz Frank just said, like his mom always says, garlic and honey to make you feel better. So he's saying maybe cookies could work. Why not? You know what? I'd give it a try. I would. I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. Okay, so we've got our onions on top. Then we're going to add on top our rosemary our chili, our lemon zest. See, even just looks wise, you're telling me that doesn't look fantastic. It has purple in there. It has green, it has red, it has yellow. That in itself just looks fantastic. Okay, now here's the secret. The ribeye ain't even on there yet. No, and here is the secret though. Okay, we've got one last little tiny bowl of something. This is what's gonna take this board sauce to the next level. And you guys are lucky that I'm donating this to the cause because this is good stuff and I am obsessed with this. Okay? It's ginger that I grew at my house. 
It's sweet. It's young ginger. It has a really nice, not not spicy mm. aroma. And it's minced up and fermented in raw honey. Ooh. So it's sweet. It's got a little, a tiny little bit of spiciness from the ginger. And that's going to round this all out. So we're going to put we that right PTH on the top. We have PTH Smoke tuning in. He's saying, hey, ladies, happy Friday. John, are you into ginger? Because I feel like some people are like, mm, ginger, I could take it or leave it. But I feel like this ginger would change anyone's mind. Yes. And it's going to be one of those things that you add to a sauce like this. And it's gonna, it's gonna just round it all out. You're not even gonna know. You're like, oh, it's not ginger. Might sound weird in this. It's not. Trust me. If you can, ha if you can get your hands on some really fresh ginger and ferment it in honey, that will cure a cold. Now, CJ saying he knew a ginger once. Did CJ? Did you get your hands on that ginger? Because man, that's what I'm getting, getting from that. <laughs> <laughs> and S. Will saying, love the ginger back in the day. Guys, isn't there like a day, like a, a ginger appreciation day? There's an everything appreciation day. Yeah, I thought day. there was. There totally could be. So Scoggett's taking off. Have a great day, Scoggett. Bye, nice Scoggett. Have a great day at work today. Okay, so now our board sauce is ready and waiting for our meat to, to finish cooking. And then when, once it's done, we're going to place it on top. Are we at, are we at like as high as it can go? Do you want me to grill? crank you up? I don't think um, this is that's not necessarily a reverse here if we turn it up higher. But for the purposes of a live, I would love to show you guys what it looks like when yep. it comes off. Want me to turn you I off? I just okay. cranked it up. Fritz Frank saying, <laughs> I use ginger powder in a lot of things. I need to start using fresh grated. Yes, Fritz Frank. Yeah. Dry ginger is great to have on hand because ginger is one of those ingredients, too, that you don't always need or yes. use. But once you go fresh, that's one of the ones, it's, it is hard to go back. Yeah, absolutely. And if you, like, I don't know if where you're located, you could try to grow um, fresh ginger, but it, I was so surprised at how easy it was to grow. <laughs> the arts of Keith Benner saying, this is starting to sound like Gilligan's Island, which that's what Hot Tommy said. He's saying he prefers Marianne over ginger. <laughs> okay, so we know where Hot Tommy's standing on that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so guys, while that's going, we are going to take a little dive into the big bowl of questions. Okay, good, because my hard part is done here. I'm just chilling. Okay, we're I'm both just chilling. Who's ready to dive in? I am. Okay, let's dive in. I'm ready to chill and dive in. Uh -oh. We're going in, everybody. We're going in. Instagram, it looks like I'm fondling something. Yeah, I, it, it looks like we both are. Yeah. Okay, honey, tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. Give All right. a good one. What is today's question? Okay. This goes out to everybody watching. Okay. Ooh. If you could rid the world of one thing, what would it be? If you could rid, huh. like get rid of one thing in the world, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, that is such a good one. Like any genre? Anything. So guys, what, anything that's out there, I'm going to guess something negative. Okay, so yeah. something that you want to get rid of, what would you get rid of? Either to make the world a better place, to make, <laughs> yes, Bat 13. Absolutely, Bat 13's throwing a stink bugs at us. Ooh, okay, Jay, cancer. If anyone has ever had stink bugs near or around them, Barbecue Pops, actually, little, little known fact about Barbecue Pops, he actually ate one one time. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes. It was an ice cream cake. He popped it in his mouth and he was like, that's a stink bug in yeah. there. Get it out. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> so that's what Bat13 saying. Jay had a great one. And Matt is also saying that. Cancer. That is such a good one to oh, get that's rid a of. Real, that's a real, real good one. And I love Evil Llama <laughs> is sweet as pie. He's saying spiders for Maddie <laughs> because he knows I can't stand them. I yeah, can't stand them. Spiders em. serve a purpose though. Like spiders have their place. They eat all the other bugs in the house. Yeah, guys, not to not to take this in like a <coughs> deep, dark territory, but you know that um is it? I don't know what movie this is from, but if you change something, like getting rid of something, yes. something as small as spiders, what would that mean for the world? Yeah. Okay, so spiders eat other bugs. So then that would affect that, and like that just would affect the whole the whole world. You'd be overrun with flies and yes. fruit flies and stuff. Yes. Brown Coco is laughing. Thank you for joining us. Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Brown on this Coco. Friday. Bob Richardson is saying hate. That's Ooh, also a very good that's one. That's a very good one. I think there's a lot of things that we could. Yes, CJ, the butterfly effect. You know what? The Simpsons also did an episode on that. I remember. Yeah, it's... where they were going some some how they were like involved in time travel, and if they changed one thing, it would change the course of the rest of the world. 
You got to watch out with you stuff do. like that. You do. I don't not to take it down a dark path, but it's true. Okay. Eva Llama. I would get rid of zucchini. <laughs> I wish we could cook something for Eva Llama because he would enjoy it. I know if we could convert him. Fritz Frank said hate. That one is, guys, you are coming up with some good ones. Yeah, that is That really is good such one. a good one. The world, I'm sorry, the world is like overrun by that right now. Mm -hmm. So like that is definitely one that could get out of here. I saw some, I don't know, I can't remember who, but I saw someone say bad hair days. Uh, yeah. I could be Let's okay get with rid that. Of the, I, love, I love that one. <laughs> I would definitely be okay with that. Okay, and we have um, my semi char life, Kathy, saying, and stink bugs, and <laughs> oh no, barbecue pops about eating one. And guys, barbecue pops, I will let you know, he said they taste like they smell. <laughs> <laughs> Which is most things in life, right? I don't I know why, like, so things, if you can smell something, you get the taste of it, basically. Not durian. Why do people eat that durian fruit, then? Pro just prove me wrong. That's right. Although I have not had a durian, but they, people swear by the taste of them, although they smell like a dead body, apparently. I've never smelled or tasted one. We have Martin tuning in. We have Martin is... Canucks with fire. Martin, we loved seeing you last week. That was Hi, so Martin. awesome. Yes, Martin it was. Martin was one of the competitors at the barbecue competition that we did. And it was so cool to see him again. We got, we're like lucky. We got to see Martin like twice in like two months. Yes. You know what? I was telling Maddie that because I couldn't judge the competition, I had to hang back and I was hanging out with all the kids. Maddie and I aren't really around kids a lot of the time. It was eye-opening for me at how fun these, these guys are. Kids are fun. They're like little tiny drunk adults. They say whatever's <laughs> on their mind. They want to ask you questions 24-7. I wasn't used to it, but I could get used to it. Yeah, so guys, if you don't know this, Kiki and I, I think probably people know this. We don't have kids, so we're never around kids. But yeah, you had like an eye-opening experience with they them. They were a lot of fun. They were like, and they're at a very fun age. They're 9, 10, and 11, I think. So they were super, super fun. <laughs> oh no, Fritz Frank. Oh no. Oh. Okay, I don't even want to read this one out loud because Barbecue Pops is going to shut down the stream, okay? <laughs> Fritz Frank is saying he changes his vote. He would get rid of the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to no. is like, oh, no, no, no. Barbecue Pops has got his Joe Pesci look on, too, today. He's cooled off oh in there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> CJ saying, come visit me if you want to hang out with some kids. CJ, how many kids do you have again? 25? Last oh, time my I goodness. <laughs> He's got a handful. He's, He's got, got a, a handful. But tell people why you thought that was cool. Because, like, tell, like, the conversations that you were having, which we were telling Barbecue Mama, it's when you have a conversation with a kid, it's just like a free flowing all over the place conversation. Yeah. And it's very much like if you have a conversation with an adult, adults are often like they think about things too much and they'll just hold back. They're with, trying to be polite. Yes. They're trying to go for like those. I'm sorry. I can't handle the, what do you do for like a living? How much money do you make? Your house, you go on your, vacation. Yeah. Like, like all those things. Those are combos I want to see myself out of. I'm not interested in that. Yeah. And like, I just, with kids, it's weird. It's weird to me because since we were never around kids, they were just like, they don't have any of those reservations that adults have to think like, maybe I shouldn't be prying into this person's life <laughs> and asking them what their deepest, darkest fear is. <laughs> but these kids were asking me all these questions and I got to admit, I liked it. <laughs> it was like rapid fire. What's your favorite color? Do you wear nail polish? It doesn't look like you wear nail polish. How come? Looks like Maddie wears nail polish. How come? It was so much fun, though. I love it. I absolutely love that. Yeah. And Barbecue Jones, I have to agree with you. He's saying we need cameo appearances from Barbecue Mama and Barbecue Pop sometimes. Yes, Barbecue Jones. We're with you on that. Guys, convince them. We're only, we're waiting for that day to come. Yeah. So Cooking with CJ saying he has, he has a 21-year-old? What? That's 16, right. 16, so CJ twins, and then a 14 and a 12. Dear goodness gracious, CJ, those are some tough years. He's wow. not going there. CJ, how do you have a 21 year old? I know. That doesn't sound right. I'm not, I'm not getting like eight. The math is not adding up, Absolutely CJ. not. No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check where we're at with our with our um huge tomahawk. This thing is thick. This is gonna be taking a while. But even if we're not there, I think we can just like maybe speed that up by getting on it on the um direct heat honey because i want to see what it, i need to cut this for you guys scoggit is saying what are you using for um seasoning so scoggit you might have missed but we're actually using a garlic butter rub today we're at 68 degrees we might make it guys. oh i think we're gonna we make, might it. make it okay so we're 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 aiming for 120 for our reverse here because then when we 
flash it quickly onto the high heat. That will bring it up to 130, 135 for a nice, perfect medium rare. I think we might make it. Okay. What, hot Tommy? He's no, got a 28 year old. <laughs> I'm not getting it. He, I'm hot not Tommy getting also it. says it's his birthday every day. So it is his I birthday don't... every day. Happy birthday, <laughs> hot Tommy! <laughs> Oh man! Kiki just goes with it. She's like, "All okay, right, I'll give let's it to do him. it. I'll give it to him." <laughs> Evil Llama saying he beat twenty-eight. Evil Llama, how old are your kids? I don't think I. I'm not. No, that. Evil Llama, you don't have a twenty-eight-year-old kid. No. And it's Evil Llama's birthday. <laughs> it's happy birthday to Evil Llama. <laughs> Okay, honey, do you want to do your cheers to the weekend drink while we're waiting? Okay, I will. I actually, that's a good idea. I can put um our espresso over the high heat. Is it? Is it's not bubbling? Yet? It's not. It's not bubbling. Okay, it's not there yet. Jay saying he's got a thirty-two-year-old son. Wow, Jay, that's awesome. Ooh, NorCal Rocker 07 is actually asking an interesting question. Are Maddie and Kiki knocking to get married? Great question. Answer is no. <laughs> We're not looking to get married, but guys, we both have been in long-term relationships for many, many years, and um, we're basically common law. Mm -hmm. Common law and loving it, loving every minute of it, staying that way for life. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, I don't know. We both got engaged, so it's like the thought was there at one point, but then we were just like, if you're happy, what is the point? Why, why have a big party? Where everybody is complaining yeah. about the food. This this <laughs> ain't a popular topic, but we also aren't changing our last name. Yeah, and yep. that's another reason why people are like, "Well, you should get married. You should do this. You should do that." Maybe you could think about it, and if it's not for you, don't do it. No, <laughs> I feel like too many people don't think about it. They're just like, "I'm at the age where we should where we should like get married," and I don't mm -hmm. think I'm not thinking about it. We thought about it, and we were like, "No." It's not for us. Yeah, no. And I think See, a lot of, Hot Tommy saying, you go, girls. Thank you, Hot Tommy. I think a lot of people assume, though, if you're not getting married, it's for a reason. It's like, why are you not... You don't want to fully commit to that person? That's not it at all. It's just we just don't see the reason in getting formally... Why do I have to get formally married according to the government? Yes, and, like, I don't... I, I, I would like to that know... That just sounded like that Seinfeld where that guy was like, the government! <laughs> <It> <laughs> Sorry. I, oh, cool. Fritz Frank is saying good for you. I'm pretty sure both... Sure both our girls are the same. That's interesting, Fritz Frank. You know what? I think times are changing. Yes. Too. I think a yes. lot more people are, are on the same path as us, which is cool. I uh, Things can be different nowadays. Yeah. It's not 1950 anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to, if you don't want to, if you want to have kids, if you don't want to have kids, I just think there's not a lot of like in our generation for some reason, there wasn't a lot of thinking, I feel like, past the princess day yeah the princess day i'm not i'm not looking for a princess day i'm not no. looking for a princess dress i'm <laughs> looking it. for i'm looking for to be with somebody and like that doesn't necessarily need a day or a contract yeah and i, and I do think a lot of women do it's probably i think a lot more uh, this is a generalization but i think a lot more women than men are like i need to look like a princess i need to walk down the aisle with my flowers like <laughs> <laughs> Maddie and I well, are not like guys, that. Are the guys thinking Did that? Did you want your flowers? Yeah, just for the guys. Like, I want my. I want to walk down with my flowers. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe they did. Maybe they wanted to get that tuxedo on and have a good time. Awesome. And he's in the house and he's saying, I'm a minister, so I probably have to marry myself. <laughs> not sure misfire cups would be okay with that. <laughs> but and see, you know what, guys? Everyone needs to be okay with it. Be okay with whatever you want to do. Exactly. And each to their own. A hundred percent. If it yes. makes you happy, all the power to you. And CJ saying he likes getting dressed up and drinking. And you know what? That's what a wedding's all about. So CJ, I, I like that too, but other people's. <laughs> I don't want to have my own. Yeah, I think a lot of people, uh, Matt is saying Lisa wanted the big day. So Matt's, Matt, you and Lisa are married, right? Yep, they're married. They just celebrated, I think, remember? That was a milestones a couple weeks ago. Was that 14, Matt? I think 14 years. Yeah, but... And Kathy's saying that she likes being married. She needs to preface this with this time. So Kathy's on her second, and she's saying she's enjoying it this time around. See? That's good. Yes. No, but I just didn't know if Matt was celebrating an anniversary of being together. I Is think it was a mayor that was a wedding photo. Mm -hmm. That was a wedding photo that he shared. So they're married. But again, he's saying Lisa wanted it, so he did it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. You wanna like just think about what, what works for you and what doesn't. I would say that our partners, maybe they would have been married if they weren't with us. Who knows? We that we were the ones that were pushing to be like, we don't see the point of it. Mm -hmm. We and, don't see the purpose of it. And it was weird because it was like after we got we both got engaged. 
So it's okay, like Okay, Matt's saying two years. I don't know why I got the jump on that and guess fourteen. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Oh, Bob. Bob, you are so sweet. He's saying Kiki and Mandy are already princesses. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's so sweet. Okay, I hear something sparking. Is that the espresso, maybe? Oh, it could be. I think it could be. Let's check it out. Okay, you, Maddie, you should know she's in tune to her old lady I espresso machine. Stop like, calling I, it that. <laughs> you guys are telling me that's not like a classic old lady Italian move. All nope. she's missing is some biscotti with that thing, a little panettone. Is that what it is or is it the It's steak? not going yet. Okay. It's starting to go and it's starting to smell very delicious in there. Very, very delicious in there. Okay, I think we can get the meat. I want to get the meat on the direct heat and give it a really hot sear because I want it to get on this before the okay. show is over. We will, but NorCal Rocker saying, Manny and Kiki, are your parents married? Also, very great question. And I think we've shared this before, but our parents were married. They are no longer married, but we are very grateful that Barbecue Mama and Barbecue Pops are able to have a relationship today, and we are able to do fun family things like we're doing tomorrow. We're having a family fire tomorrow. Yes, yeah, at my place. And guys, we're not going to lie to you. That took some years to get there, okay? Yeah. That took some years to get there. There were years where our parents like weren't able to talk, but... That's what happens when you've been together for, how long were mom, Barbecue Mom and Barbecue Pops together? 34 years. I thought it was 32. No. Okay, once you hit the 30s, it's all after, it's a, it's a lot after that. But all that's right. what happens. Okay, so we've got the, we're trying out these new tongues from our friends at Barbecue. CJ saying move the steak towards the back to give it more heat. Thank you, CJ. What I'm going to do is actually just get it right on the direct heat. I think we're almost there. Should we? <coughs> yeah. I just you want to do it? Okay, I, we're yeah. not even using the tongues then. All we'll right, save these for another let's time. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, that is going to be phenomenal. Lid down. We've got it. So now we're at the point where... Hi, Mike. Hi, Mikey. And listen to Barbecue Mama. She's saying always anything for my two chicks. See? And that's the lo that's how much our parents love us because I don't... If it wasn't for us, I don't think they, those two would ever talk again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. There's nothing wrong with that. No, it's so true. That's very, that is a very good point. And also, we were very lucky because a Barbecue Mama and Barbecue Pops decided to end their relationship when we were in our 20s. Mm -hmm. So that could have been a different story if we were younger. That It does obviously affect kids in, in a different way when you're yeah. younger, but I'm grateful that we were older. And Kathy's saying that's that's actually pretty awesome. It is, I'm very grateful for that. So I don't know how we got here, to be honest. Like looking back now, I'm, like, I'm so grateful that we are here. We can have a bonfire. We're going to my place. We're gonna make a big bonfire because I, you guys know I live in the country, so we don't have to worry about neighbors. We're gonna make a huge one. We're gonna have some pizzas. Oh yeah, we're gonna with have the, a good with time. this with the with the meat with this meat. Yeah, that's smelling incredible. So we're at the point now. We've had our reverse seared um, tomahawk on the grill for a while. We've all oh my goodness, guys! Let's take a little look. Oh my goodness, those grill marks. Perfect. Looks so good. And we're gonna now give it some high heat to get that nice crust on the exterior. I kind of wanted you to do a cross grid, honey, but whatever. That's your your own choice. It's my journey. It's your it's journey. It's my journey, okay? We all that's your journey. <laughs> we always say that. If it's just I, I'm just gonna freestyle on my own, it's my journey. Oh, this is my journey. That's gonna be incredible. And yep, yeah, hot Tommy saying, Daddy and Kiki, can I come? <laughs> oh, to the fire? Oh, I thought he was saying that for hot Tommy, we would love that. It would be a true barbecue family fire. Yeah. We got a lot of room over there too, so we could. <laughs> awesome, eh? So am I hearing that Barbecue Mama and Barbecue Pops are on the market? I, you are hearing that right. Yep, they both are. <laughs> okay, can you please make this drink today? I would like to taste it. I gotta wait for the, for the espresso. Oh, what do we have here? Barbecue Pops is rolling a segment. It's cheers to the weekend. That means you gotta make it. Well, we gotta wait for the espresso, everybody. Regardless of if you're, is it hot? Even Is it hot at all? What? The, the hot, espresso's the not happening? It's not, it's not okay. hot yet. Fritz Frank saying, just recently, a business friend's parents had enough after 50 years. Wow. Ooh, and he's saying life goes on. You know what? I think that takes bees yeah. to, to do that after 50 years. Because sometimes people are just like, why would I even make the change to do that after that long? But you know what? There's never... There, as long as you're alive, you got time to live. So if you're not happy, don't waste time being not happy. No. I don't know if you guys have heard the term grin and bear it. We don't agree with that. Sometimes people use that in regards to being in marriages that they aren't necessarily happy with. We're not, we're not interested in that life. You have one life guys. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't understand that kind of talk. Okay. So guys, if the espresso doesn't happen, 
we're gonna still try and do something, okay? So you, when you got up your sleeve, Marty, so Mixel. yeah, we're we're gonna try and do something. All I got is chili oil. I can't help you out. <laughs> no, Ew. I was gonna say no, but no, that ain't gonna work. Okay. But what we have here, so what we were gonna do, we'll see, we'll still see if the espresso works. But what we were gonna do is this this martini is. There's different ways to make um, espresso martinis, but has anybody ever heard of this stuff? This is called Tia Maria, and it is very similar to a Kahlua type of liqueur, Ooh. but it is Jamaican, so it has rum in it, and it has sugar, and it's so, so delicious paired with espresso, and it also tastes like coffee. Ooh. So yeah, and it, it, it would have gone so good. We're going to see if we can get there with the espresso. Honey, can you actually tempt Let me the see. meat Let me here see. and temp, temp our meat? All right. Oh my goodness, that looks good. What are we at? We're at 76. 76. Okay, well, we'll keep it going for a little bit. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Guys, has anybody ever had this before? Honey, you got a little bit of espresso. I think you can make it happen. Oh, is it going? It's coming up a little tiny bit. I don't know how much you need, but I think you can make it happen. Okay, we'll we'll let that go, but this smells so, smell that. Ooh, that would be good on its own. So let's actually see what this looks like just without, oh, see, that's not what I was picturing. Let's go the full, the full shot in there. I was picturing this to be like much darker. That would be good just on its own. That would be really good. Okay, and then we're gonna put in some, you guys know that we've been absolutely loving this smoked simple syrup because it's just smoky sugar water. Um, so that could go on any, that, you can even put a little drizzle on that. Yes, okay, hand me your glove and I will get you whatever espresso you have in there because I think you have enough. I saw a little tiny bit, that's all you need to make this drink happen, hand me your glove. I'll get it for you, okay, thank you. be careful, be careful. And while I'm at it, I may as well just rotate the meat a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, and just put the espresso right here to let this cool because if that shatters the um, See, look. the martini glass. Hang on. I don't want to get in trouble because those are from Barbecue Mama. Oh, it did look a little bit. You got some. It did. Oh my, you're telling me that doesn't smell better than regular coffee? It smells like regular coffee No, to me. it doesn't. It absolutely does not. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's just pour a little bit of this in there. I think that's going to be phenomenal, honey. Oh my goodness. Okay, look at that, guys. Any black coffee drinkers out there? Hi, Angel. Nice to see you. Hi, Angel. How are you? Oh my goodness, that smells good. Oh, that is going to be phenomenal. I don't think this needs any garnish. This doesn't need any cream. This doesn't need any milk. This is for, this is like a love letter to the black coffee drinkers. I could think I could use a little cream. Got a little bit of a fruit fly there. Oh we'll no. Get that off of your, we'll get that off of your nose here, honey. Okay, get your water. Let's give a little cheers to the weekend as right. our state continues because this is going to be down to the wire, guys. I get this on the board. It. I think we can too. Okay, I don't know if um, Trumpet Master's saying I'll take a drink. That does look really good and I think it's going to be a phenomenal drink. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Does it taste good? Oh my goodness. <coughs> it's a little bit stiff, <coughs> but that is, I feel like going to be like the drink of winter. Really? Smell, you, but we were talking about you can smell things and taste them. It smells kind of chocolatey. He can't actually taste it, but you can get what that, the flavors are there. Yeah. I think that is phenomenal. It's not smelling really great. Angel's tuning in. They're saying, I'm glad to finally be back and I love flat coffee. Three cups a day, so good to know. Angel, that's awesome. I think Angel, I think he'd love that. Okay. This string. I don't know if you guys saw this, but we got some good cross sear on this. This is coming down oh, to the wire. Oh, you had to go with the cross sear. Oh, CJ. CJ, CJ? sent us a super chat. Yeah, I had to go with the cross sear. CJ drink. sent us a $20 super chat. CJ, thank you so much. And he's saying cheers, ladies. Cheers to you guys. Thank you guys so much for, for watching with us. We're not done yet. No, we're, we're gonna not. keep going. But cheers to everybody watching. And I gotta do my classic. Woo, CJ! Thank yeah. you, so much, CJ. Okay, so uh, the steak is gonna take another minute. We have one clip of what happened in our week. I believe that we still have to go through. That will take us right to when the steak is done, and then we're gonna get it on this board sauce and hopefully be able to cut it for you guys. I, I'm sorry, I can't handle that. It's smelling really that. great. Yeah, it's smelling really great. Okay, so this is what happened in our week this week. 
something that happened in particular at Maddie's house. Well, let's see what order this is coming. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I wanted to put this out there to you guys. Does any know, anyone know what the heck that little critter is? Because I sure don't. Kiki doesn't know. Ma barbecue Mama doesn't know. Barbecue Pops. I don't know if, but do we get Barbecue Pops to weigh in? I don't know, but he looks like a little tiny mouse. He lives in Maddie's backyard. He's eating a tomato. And then the other thing that happened this week, take a look at this. Barbecue Pops built this windmill at my house. Look at that beauty go. Guys, do you believe that Barbecue Pops built that with his bare hands? And basically that was built out of a filing cabinet. And to be specific, the filing cabinet that you guys saw us actually um, smoke some meats in. Yeah. So wholly multi-purpose. <laughs> okay, people are saying it's a mole. Okay, Bat13 saying it's a mole, S. Will saying it's a mole. Okay, maybe it's a mole. It does kind of look like a mole. It could be a mole. Thank you guys for weighing in. All right, so I'm going to whip, whip off our meat. I think we could be at medium rare. Let's take a look. Hey, that's the cross hatch I was looking okay, for. Okay, I take it back, honey. That looks... Oh, my good. Okay, what? That looks so good. All right, so we're going to put it directly on top of our butter. That's the whole point of a board. You don't want to waste time resting in any place else. Okay, I can't even handle the look of that. And we're going to take some tin foil. Okay, and Jay's saying it could be a vole. That's interesting. That is actually very interesting. I got to look up both of those guys because that, that thing's been hanging around my backyard for the whole summer. <laughs> Can you smell that? It's instantly, instantly. I'm smelling garlic. I'm smelling lemon. I'm okay. smelling the ginger. It's got to rest now though. I, this so could as be that rests, layer. Guys, is that not crazy? Does anyone else like to, so Barbecue Pops, you guys know, he is a whiz at setting up our set. He loves the technology. He loves like, he loves everything to do with this, but he also builds windmills too. I know. So guys, what are, what are some different things that you like to do when you're not at the grill? Like what are some, what are, Kiki's taking up drums. Yeah. She's going to be like an, the next up and coming drummer. <laughs> Barbecue I don't know about that. loves gardening. Well, when she's not at the grill, she loves gardening, but I never knew that Barbecue Pops could put Windmill Maker on his list. And that thing's looking phenomenal. We're going to finish it up tomorrow, although it looks 100% done to me. Yes, we're tomorrow, basically, the fire that we're having is a celebratory, like, family fire to be like, this windmill took two years, and I repeat, two years to build, and we're finally happy that it's up. Yeah, Maddie likes to wood carve. I don't know if anybody knew that. I think we've shared that with people we before, We have though. shared that before. Yeah, Maddie likes to get her get her hands on some wood carving, mostly over the winter time though. That's yeah. I feel like everybody has like different hobbies that they like to do, like at different times of the year. Mm -hmm. Keith is saying play guitar and write. That's so awesome, Keith. That is very cool. Keith. That's I very didn't know cool. That. And Keith also builds awesome um, cutting boards. Bob's saying that they enjoy that he enjoys woodworking. That's so cool. Yeah, we know that Matt cycles. Of course, I we saw sure this. do. I think Matt said for for twenty five years or thirty years, which we didn't believe that. <laughs> no, and I saw a picture of him in his full gear. He looked quite handsome. Yes, he did. Yes, he, he did. Looked quite <laughs> handsome. <laughs> okay, that is smelling fantastic. And you'll notice too, as it's as it's resting in here, it's lowering down because mm -hmm. it's melting that butter. And it's going to slightly cook the... Oh, it's actually nice and warm. Now, I'm not going to repeat what Evil Llama says, is saying, <laughs> because he's taking it to it in a dirty direction, but he ain't wrong. <laughs> in a, but that is true. I like to do that. I do like to do that. And Hot Tommy's letting us know that he naps. Like, I would pay good money to watch Hot Tommy nap. He would look like a sweet little angel. <laughs> he Wouldn't he? I think he would. Adorable, cutie, patootie, napping Hot Tommy. I could see it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Jay's saying that he likes to drink bourbon. Yeah, that's a good pastime, especially in the winter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's review. We're not going to slice into this yet, but let's just see what's happening with our boat. Look, look at all that nice steam. Look at the steam. Check it out. I'm going to move this around. Let me just... So this is like going against everything. Can you hang on to that for a second, honey? But sometimes you just want to yes. smear it, flip it, get all those juices look. going in there. So the butter is melting. Uh, oh my, um, oh no. And we're going to oh just no. flip it over, let that sit in there. But it does need some more time to rest. We cannot rush this. You can't rush something good. No. As much as I want to show you we guys. We did rock. We took that there. We really took that there. I oh. didn't think that that was going to happen. Not only did you rock those grill marks, I am like thoroughly, thoroughly impressed by those grill marks, but we took, we got it there. We got it there. Yep. And Hot Tommy's saying, damn, that looks killer. Thanks, Hot Tommy. And one thing I did want to mention, if you are going to take the time and spend the extra money to buy a tomahawk, don't throw out the bone. 
Yes. You're spending money on that bone. Make a stock. Trim it off. Make a stock. We got Marianne joining us. She's saying, wow, that looks awesome. Fritz Frank, I'm going to guess maybe Marianne's going to be re requesting this for the weekend. So head to the butcher on your way home. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Jay saying that looks insanely good, Trumpet Master. I really wish we could cut into it for you guys, but I, it needs to rest. Mm -hmm. Do we want to take a chance? I should, I'm going to cut the side. I'm going to cut one little piece. The center needs to rest more, but I'm going to cut okay, you a yeah, little this, trim the side, off the side. The side could, the okay. side could, like, just like right yes. there, right there. Make it happen right there. Okay, this isn't the hand I normally cut with, okay. so. Okay, Awesome A is choosing to call this a butterboard. Look at this. <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold that up, honey, so everybody can see it. Perfectly. That looks fantastic. Perfectly cooked on the inside. <laughs> Marianne's like, I just ate, but it's making me hungry again. Okay, so I've got a nice piece for Mad to try here. We got to show it up to Insta, every honey. Show okay. that up there. This is going to continue to rest. Instagram, check that out. Oh Perfect my goodness. medium rare. I got some of the board sauce. Not the butterboard, CJ. Yeah. <laughs> no, got... no, CJ didn't say that. Yeah, he awesome, did. he did. No, he keeps saying it. Okay, so I'm going to let Maddie try okay. this. It looks perfect. Honey, give that a taste. I gave you some of this. I made sure, made sure to smear that into the sauce. So you got a little bit of everything. Mmm. How is it? First of all, the steak. Okay, I would have high five you because it was perfectly cooked. Yes. And we rushed it, but I could tell it was almost there. But the butt, you get, you, literally you can taste everything there. Because it's just simple ingredients. You taste the butter, you taste the lemon. That ginger, thank you for donating that to the cause. Yes. Because it's coming alive in this bite. Ginger and steak, who would have thought? And it's just the, the sweet, the salty, the little bit of tartness in there. I, that's a real winner. When it's finished, we're going to drizzle over some of this um, chili oil just for a little extra. But you, that's really my favorite way to make a tomahawk. That needed five twos and down. It's tender <laughs> city, baby. We rock that, and I'm very impressed. I didn't think that was going to happen. No, we really we sped even it got, up. We even sped the espresso. We sped up things that should never be sped up. But we made it <laughs> no, happen. absolutely not. <laughs> yes, and we got the sexy stamp of approval from S. Will. You know that's when you nailed it. Totally. Yeah. And that's why a tomahawk is not as intimidating as it seems. Not at all. Just because it's big and it's in, it, it does look intimidating, it is absolutely not intimidating. But no. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with us. Hit the like button. Share this if you guys think that people would find this useful. Share it to the hot, the dark, um, the black coffee drinkers. Yes. This one is for them. Yep. And we had so much fun with you guys here today. Yes, we'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Mwah. Mwah.